Hey lovely people welcome back to my channel made by Yuma if you are a, if you are a first time visitor for my channel i hope you like this video in today's tutorial we'll see how to make crochet bells so these bells are uh, can be used as christmas ornaments uh, for the christmas tree or you can use them as a wall hanging uh, to decorate your home so let's see what are the things we need for this project we would need a 3 or 3.5 mm crochet hook and an acrylic yarn or a cotton yarn and you would also need a needle which is of 0.4 mm size uh, this is uh, needed if you are using a bead uh, in your project so I'm just recommending a small size bead for this project because the crochet belt is small in size. So the regular uh, crochet hook that doesn't fit into the bead. So I'm hence I'm taking the 0.4 mm crochet hook uh, to towards the end of the bead project. That that is a bead crochet bead belt. So let's get started by making a magic ring. So if you are a beginner you can check out my uh, video on crochet basics i will provide the link in the description box so once the magic circle is made then we have to make a uh, six single crochet into the magic circle so this is the first single crochet and then the second single crochet into the loop and third single crochet fourth single crochet fifth single crochet and then sixth single crochet so we have just made six single crochets here and we have to make a, a slip stitch into the first the very beginning chain stitch so there are six here six chains so let's make the slip stitch into the first chain So into the first chain, insert the hook. Make sure you insert beneath both the strands of the chain and then yarn over, pull through, pull through that first loop itself. So this is a slip stitch. We have got six chains here. Chain one, two, three, four five and six so now we have to do the round two for round two we have to make two single crochet in each chain, each chain space first make chain one and then into the first chain space make first single crochet and then second single crochet so into the next chain make two single crochets so first single crochet and second single crochet so i'm going to continue this all through this round and in the end of this round second round i will have 12 single crochet in total so guys i have made uh, a total of 12 single crochet in the second round and i'm making the slip stitch into the very first single crochet chain so now we have 12 here and into the next round we have to make one single crochet in each chain space so in total we have 12 single crochet so this is the first single crochet into the first chain and into the second chain make another single crochet so this is round three so once you are done with round three for round four and round five you have to repeat the same pattern that is one single crochet in each of the chain space i will meet you once i am done with uh, round five so i am done with uh, five rounds as you can see here so this is formed a cup shape now i'm going to do the round six so for the round six uh, we have to make two single crochet into the first chain space and then into the next chain space make one single crochet into the next chain space make two single crochet so it's like one 
single crochet and then two single crochet and then one single crochet alternatively you have to do one single crochet and two single crochets so in total we'll have 18 single crochets at the end of this round which is round six so now we are going to make a slip stitch into the very first beginning chain stitch so we have completed uh, round six and this is started to take the bell shape now we are going to make uh, one more round which is uh, you have to make one single crochet in each of the chains so there is no increase here that is no two single crochets we just have to make one in each of the chain space so in total we'll have 18 single crochet in round seven So I'll meet you at the end of round 7. So here I am done with uh, 18 single crochet and making a slip stitch into the very first chain. So we'll just uh, do the finishing round which is round 8. Uh, first begin with chain 1 and then make a slip stitch into the next chain. And then make a chain 1. And make a slip stitch into the next chain then make chain one and make a slip stitch into the next chain so this is the pattern we have to repeat all through this round and uh, here I'm done with that and I'm gonna pull off some uh, two inch length thread and cut the yarn now I'll show you how to work with the hanging part of the i mean the the loop part of the bell so i'm taking 0.4 mm crochet hook and insert it into the center of the magic circle and then pull the yarn with this is the tail end of the magic circle so we can just pull to the desired length and then make a knot on the flip side of the bell so once the knot is made you can just check if it's like if it is sturdy and now we can work the tail end of the yarn by using the crochet hook into adjacent stitches just repeat it for four to five times and then we can cut the excess yarn So I'm gonna do this for the other end of the yarn. So you can alternatively use a sewing needle to do this. Whatever uh, way you feel comfortable, you can take that and do it. So now I'm gonna trim the excess yarn so now our uh, cute bell is ready and i hope this pattern is quite easy for you even if you are a beginner you can try this pattern it is very uh, pretty and very little also i have made another uh, bell with green color and uh, uh, white border so for the white border in uh, for the round eight I have used white color instead of green color so here I'm gonna show you another uh, a bell which uses beads at the end so in the last round that is at the round 8 it's gonna use beads I'll show you how to use it so first we'll make chain right so instead of the chain we have to insert the bead into the hook we should use a smaller size hook which will get inserted into the bead and then work it through the chain then make a slip stitch and then bring a, bring a bead 
insert the hook into the bead yarn over pull through the bead and pull through the chain as well and then using your fingers you can push the uh, thread that is the chain behind the bead so then make a slip stitch and then bring bring in another bead insert the hook into the bead yarn over pull through the bead and also the loop we have in the crochet hook and along with it pull through the bead into the chain as well so this is the pattern i have done at the last round you can follow this and then try a different uh, kind of bell for your for this christmas i'm gonna repeat this and then um, i'll finish off this project so in total 18 beads we would be needing for this uh, crochet belt because we ended up with 18 chain stitches at round 8 so we would be needing 18 beads and uh, i'll be completing it with a regular uh, way we complete so i'll just uh, pull the yarn for about two inches and then cut the yarn and uh, stitch stitch the tail end at the flip side and finish this project i'll show you how it looks so the uh, beads are completed so this is how the bell looks and this is pretty right as compared to the regular bell